Welcome to WTDC 17 in Buenos Aires, Argentina, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Dr. Martha Suarez, who is the head of the Colombian delegation. Dr. Suarez, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure for me to be here and to be a part of this interview. And uh, I'm very glad to participate in the conference. Now, I'd like to start off by talking a little bit about uh, the theme for this conference is ICT for SDGs. In what ways has your country been integrating ICTs in its development agenda? Um, the SDGs are included in our uh, national development plan. And we have also a um, state policy for uh, ICTs. And in that policy, we, created, we started in 2010. And the first four years, it was the name of, its, of this policy is Plan Vive Digital. And it was created with the main objective of reducing poverty. So that was like a, how to reduce poverty through ICT. And, and the second part of the plan, in, from 2014 to 2018, it has been focused on people. So it's Plan Vive Digital para la gente, for people. And uh, what we are doing now is including all the main objectives in our plan. And we have been focusing especially in number one, reducing the poverty. We have been also focusing on education, quality, high quality education, uh, reducing the gender gap, and uh, creating uh, jobs, mainly in the, in the ICT um, field. And we have been encouraging all those goals through uh, our plan and through investment from the government for those uh, objectives. And I wanted to, to, to ask you in terms of challenges, what challenges do you face in implementing the UN Sustainable uh, Development Goals and how do you see ICTs making a difference? The main challenge is to integrate industry, academia, uh, social community and government. And uh, what we have seen now is that it's not only about ICTs, we are just the tool to get to them. Uh, and it's not easy to integrate all the stakeholders in this plan. Um, right now we are creating a change in the um, ministry. We have created a vice ministry of digital economy. And that vice ministry is integrating health stakeholders, justice stakeholders, um, education, all of them. Um, so I think that that is, the, that is the harder part, is to have a good conversation with them to show the advantage of technology and to make them part of these development goals. Well, we are, we are convinced that the agenda to 2030 is very, um, how to say, ambitious. And um, we, we are convinced that if we, if we manage to implement them, there will be a completely different world. And especially for Colombia, uh, we are in a very changing process now. We are, we are changing. Uh, we have the peace agreement. We are working on integration and creating one consolidated country. So uh, we are convinced that uh, all of these objectives, not only economic growth, but also regarding uh, environment, protection of water, protection, etc., they will improve the quality of life of the people. What about policies and regulatory reforms? Uh, what do you think is needed to, in order to connect the next billion, especially in remote and rural areas? Well, the first is to integrate all the stakeholders, I was saying, uh, because it's not only about connecting them, it's about making that solution sustainable in the time. So uh, in particular, and now I'm going to speak from uh, spectrum management, what we have been doing is trying to find how different technologies can complement each other. So we have been uh, increasing the number of connections broadband connections. Colombia has been very ambitious. In 2010, we had 2.2 millions of broadband connections in the country. Now we have more than 28 million. So we passed from 2.2 to 28 million. And that has been a lot of work. Uh, but we are convinced that there is only, not only one technology. We are also working with new systems that are affordable. For example, for rural areas and remote areas, we have a proof in Colombia is the first country in Latin America that has a regulation regarding TV white spaces. So we think that is very useful for um, places or cities that have less than 100,000 people. So it's only for those places that are disconnected, but it provides the, the possibility to have broadband access in a, with affordable uh, price. So um, that is one of the things that we are working. We are also thinking about spectrum sharing. Um, and uh, in general, what we are trying to do is to create the maximum benefit for society from the spectrum management. 
And uh, finally, why is this uh, WTDC 17 important uh, to Colombia? What concrete actions would you like to see coming from this conference? Well, we have been very active uh, regarding, first, the strategic view. So we have been uh, working on the declaration of Buenos Aires on the action plan. And uh, we see that there are many uh, points of discussion here. The study, the, the study questions that are, have been decided are very important for us. I will just give some examples. Uh, we think that PPGR, uh, Communications for Emergency Situations, is very important, mainly for the Latin American region. Uh, unfortunately, in the last months, we had many different uh, situations that were very hard to face. Um, we are also convinced that broadband connectivity is the first step to achieve all these goals and to include society. Um, we are also supporting actions like, for example, in inclusion, in women inclusion, um, uh, gender equality, of course. Um, also, for us, for Colombia, it's very important everything regarding handicapped people. So we have, that's one of the issues we have been working and in this conference we have been discussing about that. We have also, for example, electromagnetic fields uh, measurement. That's something that the citizens are worried sometimes about, okay, you're connecting everyone, you're deploying infrastructure, but what about health? And, uh, and what we wanted to give them is like, look, we are controlling everywhere the limits of exposure to the electromagnetic fields, and we want to provide certainty to the community that it doesn't uh, affect health, uh, but that it, we have the benefits of connectivity. So there are many, many important points. Those are some I would like to, to point out. And finally, we're here the last couple of days here of the conference. Is there a key message that you would like to convey here to participants? Well, I would like to say that um, it's been a hard week. I, I just came for the second part of the week of the conference. Uh, but I think that we are defining here like the main structure of uh, the, the work we will have in the next four years. So I think uh, it's very important what we are doing here. There are many subjects that have been out of the <laughs> final conclusions. We have been deciding which are the most important ones. And I think we have the framework for the next actions. And what is important also now is that all the countries make part of it, that we share the best, the best uh, experiences, and that we continue with the capacity building activities of ITUD uh, in order to create a better environment for technology development. Dr. Martha Suarez, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. Great. Great. Thank you, Martha.